Here I can see in our company server, yesterday you made a new account in PayPal and from that account you made a purchase of a Bitcoin. I don't, I've never used Bitcoin in my life. I mean, that means someone is trying to use your personal information to make a purchase. That is why you don't know about that transaction. Right now, as you said, you haven't made that purchase, so I am going to help you how you can cancel it and how you can get your money back. For that, you need to be in front of your computer, then I can help you. Okay. So when you are in front of it, do let me know. I'm holding a line for you. Okay. Are you there, ma'am? So are you in front of your Yeah. Are you in front of your computer? Okay, now have a look on your keyboard, ma'am. Left hand side bottom corner on your keyboard. Can you see control key C T R L? Yes, I do. Right next to that key, ma'am, which key do you see? Um oh it's the F and key. Okay, right next to F and key, which key do you see? Um, oh, it's uh it's it's, it's it's the one with the squares or whatever. The, the, the next one is the other. You need to press the four square logo and keep it pressed, don't leave it, okay? After holding it pressed, letter R, R as in Roger. Okay. Now, after pressing that both key, what comes up on your computer screen? Um, it looks like a um, box I'm sorry. Shit. Damn it. Okay, well, I definitely want to get, you know what, I'm going to call him back, but I'm definitely going to get that number up, too. Okay, when you guys hear the hang-up, say something in chat, please. When you guys hear that hang-up, say something in the chat. Please. Shit. Okay, well, I'm going to share that number, but let me try. Let me try. The other is PayPal. Ooh, 888. I bet you this is the main. And the thing is, is they're probably already getting hit pretty hard. And that was an email. Oh, I put it up there. So I don't know if the date's on there. Oh, yeah, 12 6. I was just pulling up something as fast as I could. Um, okay. This is an 888 number. My name is James. How can I help you today? Hi, James. Yes, um, I received a message or an email from you. Okay. Um, this was the number I had to call. Do you need an order number? Okay. So what? Yeah, I need to. Okay. Uh, it's for 799. Hello, are you there? Yes, ma'am, I can hear. Could, oh. you, could you please share the order number, please? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. 
Um, I'm trying to, okay, it's six, five, two, okay. six, okay. five, okay. three, uh, two, three, five, five, one, one, two, two, five, five. Four. Okay, ma'am, could you confirm me your email address? Um, absolutely. It's... Please let me... Yes, it's, it's F... I... F... I... N... 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 G... G E E R R B B as in boy? Yes, B as in boy. Okay. A A N N G G Four zero at gmail dot com. Ah, uh, gmail. Ma'am, do you own a single PayPal account or do you use multiple PayPal accounts? Um, just one that I'm aware of. Okay, ma'am, please let me check so that I. Okay. 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 Ma'am, the charge that you mentioned, 799.99, ma'am, this is regarding a Bitcoin purchase on Coinbase.com. So have you been using the Coinbase l lately? I've never used um, Bitcoin. So this charge you do not recognize, right? This is an unauthorized charge. Yes. So ma'am, in that case, I would have to cancel this charge in order to refund you back the money. So I need to get you connected with our PayPal verified servers. So will you confirm me if you are using an Apple phone or an Android phone? Um, I use an Apple phone. Okay, so ma'am, now I'm getting you connected to the servers. So in order to do so, you need to put me on speaker and go to your home screen. Um, okay, well, I'm okay, but I'm on right now. I'm on my um, laptop because that's where I'm, I got the email with the number to call you. And then there's something clicking. I think I might need to call you back because there's a clicking. Yeah, ma'am. I put the order number that you shared and the amount that you shared. It seems like a Bitcoin purchase has been initiated from Fargo, North Dakota. So... Is that you? Have you been traveling to that place lately? No, never been there before. So, ma'am, basically these kind of instances happen when you share your email and login credentials with your friends, family members, or any known person, or on social media. So, no problem with it. I can help stop the transaction and get the amount back to you. So I will be connecting you to the PayPal server, and for that I'll be using your mobile, not your laptop. So I don't think my mobile will work it. though, because um, it's it's old. It doesn't work. I mean, it it doesn't uh, allow me to do a lot of um, the apps and stuff because it's just it's very out. It's an app, even though it's an Apple iPhone, it's very outdated. Okay, so let me, ma'am, the laptop that you're using is an Apple or a Windows? 
the laptop is Windows. My phone is my phone is an Can Apple, but the laptop is Windows. Okay, let me check with my backend team if we can process the refund using the laptop. Okay. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm put I'm putting your call on a hold. Okay. Okay. Thanks. So ma'am, we would be able to work with the laptop. However, if you can confirm that you can receive messages on your phone. Oh, I think so. Yes. I just don't, I don't okay, think so it would right. allow me to, um, like I don't use it. Um, if you're talking about doing something that requires getting on the internet or an app, it just doesn't, I, I can't figure okay. that stuff out. And I think it's just too old. Mom, if we could use the mobile, that would be really great. But you tell me that it does not have a space, so I can help get the space cluttered up, and so that I can help get the refund to you. What do you mean? I mean that would you be okay to work with the phone that you mentioned? We could totally try, but I'm just telling you. Um... It, it may not, I'm not sure if it'll work or not, but we can try it. Okay, then you can put me on speaker and go to your app store. Okay. Hold on. Okay, take your time, ma'am. I will. Okay. Hello? I think you hung up. Where'd you go? James? Hello? Hello? Where'd you go? Hello? Hello? Sorry? Where'd you go? Hello? James? No, ma'am, I'm connected. Ma'am, I'm with you. Yeah, okay. Oh, now I can't. I'm, oh, the clicking. Place, it sounds like you're... Okay, I think we have a bad connection because it keeps clicking. Okay, ma'am. Are you on the app store now? I have my phone now. Yeah, I have the apps, but I can't. You can't click though. I can't do the clicking. Okay, ma'am. I think we should try your laptop then. Okay. So, ma'am, <coughs> press the Windows button, and while pressing it, press an R. R as in Romeo. Press both buttons together. There should be a window that pops up. Let me know when okay. it does. Okay. Okay, wait. So what do you need me to press? Are oh, I can, oh you keep hanging up. Key. I can't take the clicking. If you do that one more time, I'm going to have to hang up. I can't do that. Mom, do you see the Windows button there? Where is, I, where, what Windows button? What are you talking about? Mom, this should be on the row that has the longest key. The space bar key just beside it, there should be a Windows button. There's an Alt key. And just beside it? Um, do you see four squares? Button? Oh, the, okay. The yes, button that I has see what you're talking about. Yes. Now, now press the R key along with that button. Okay. First press the Windows key, then the R button. Okay. Now do you see a run dialog box? 
Oh yes, I see what you're talking about. So do you see there type the name of a program, folder, document, or internet resource, and Windows will open it for you? I'm sorry, what? It's hard to understand you. Ma'am, do you see a run dialog box on your screen, just at the bottom left end? Oh, yes, okay. Do you see that? Yes. Now, in there, type in I Explore, I as an ice cream, E as Edward, X as an X ray, P as in pen. Wait, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, you want me to type in there I E Explore X P L O R E R? No, only Explore, I Explore, then a space. I'm having such a hard time. What do you want me to type in? Ma'am, I explore, I-E-X-P-L-O-R-E, -E, then a space, and after a space, type ultra, U-L-T-R-A-V-I-E-W-E-R, -E -E ultra viewer. Okay. Dot E, dot N-E-T. Okay. What did you type in, ma'am? Um, the ultra, the, hold on just a minute, something's coming Read it here. from the starting. Okay, remote PC. Ma'am, install it, download it, if you see. Ultra viewer, the first, just a minute, something. The first I have one, a, right? I, yeah, I have a really slow computer. Ultra Viewer Remote Control Support Software. The first one. Okay. The first one I'm downloaded. Okay, it says there's a sh it says sharing. Okay, then it says order now or download. Download. Okay. What am I downloading here? It's asking. What is this? Mom, this will help you can. Mom, this will help you connect to our PayPal verified servers. So because a transaction is a result of a identity theft, so we are not sure that who am I talking to actually, the real account holder or the person who made the transaction, 799.99. Nine, so once we are connected, I'll be, the server will be helping us verify and cancel the transaction so that I can refer to the real identity. Well, okay, but... How do you know? Okay, well, this just says, hold on. Ultra, okay. Um, yeah, okay, it says download, and then it, okay, then it's asking, do I trust this program to allow. run? Click on allow. Okay, and allow. Then click on allow. Okay. Now what do you see, ma'am? Um. Oh, something just came on the bottom of my screen. Um, okay, hold on. Okay, open it. Yeah. Now on your screen, ma'am, do you see your ID? Oh, yes, I do. Okay, something's coming up. It's, well, no. just a minute. It's really hard to read. Tell. Ma now, ma'am, tell me your ID and password so that I can connect with you. Okay, hold on just a minute. It's hard to read. I wish that, that they, that this was bigger. That's what she said. But hold on.
Um, what do you see now? Um, I told you I see. For, okay, I, I have to hang up. I can't do the clicking with you. Please stop. What exactly? Please stop putting on mute. What exactly do you see? Who is this? Wait, who is this? Yep. This is Floor Supervisor from PayPal Customer Support. Um, um, okay. I'm on the I... call to help you. Okay. What is your name? My name is Tom. Hi, Tom. Because I wanted to speak with the manager. So, Tommy, I'm glad, glad to talk to you, Tommy. This is Irma. So, okay. There's, so mm -hmm. there's something that came up here because mm -hmm. I got this email, first of all, from you guys with this phone number, right? And the email... Mm -hmm. Clearly, mm -hmm. clearly, this is from PayPal, and it says, you know, product has been shipped, and order confirmation, and I just don't understand what I'm doing with this. It says, Alta Viewer 6.2 free, allow remote control. Please tell it. Please tell your partner the following ID and password if you would like to allow remote control access or allow remote control. Mm -hmm. So, what is this okay. about? You know, who asked you to uh, take notes? This? Who asked me to take no the notice? Knows. What? Tommy, where'd you go? Tommy? 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 I still, guys, by the way, I still, and I'm sure there's a huge lag, which is why I'm not doing too much with the screen. But, um, Thank you for calling support. How may I help you? Hi, Tommy. Why'd you hang up? Hello? Tommy. I'm just PayPal support. How may I help you? I know it's PayPal support. I was just on with you guys. You guys emailed me, and I was just on the phone with you. Why'd you hang up? Who were you talking to, ma'am? This is Brian from PayPal. Oh, this is Brandon. You sound just like Tommy. I was just sound, uh, talking to Tommy. I thought I was talking to James at first. And then um, I was, then the last guy was Tom or Tommy. All right. You must have called on the global line. That's why you must be talking to the other executives as well. Oh, okay. That makes sense. All right. Okay. So, should I talk to Tommy or you about this email? All right. Well, the email. Oh, the email um, from you guys. Hold on. I'll pull it up again. I guess something was ordered, but I didn't order it. It wasn't my address that, was, um, that showed up on it. But I pulled up the email, and now... Uh, I gotta find it again. Here we go. Take oh yeah, this is totally legit. Okay, yeah, here we go. Um, the chart, wait. Product price, 429. The charge to your statement, yeah, it just says, oh. Your order has been successfully placed and the amount of 429 will be debited soon. And it's for a um, gaming laptop. All right, the charge amount was $49. Mm -hmm. All right, and may I know what purchase does it say? I'm sorry, what? What purchase does it mention? What purchase? Oh, it's a gaming laptop. Sorry? Do you want the order number, you mean? Yes, I mean, what does it mention? But what are the charges for 429? Oh, product M S I G F six three, I think. Thin 
something GTX 1650 Max Q 8GB 256GB gaming laptop. Product price $429. All right. So you just said that you never made that. You never made this purchase, right? No, no. I wouldn't need. I. All right, ma'am. Did you? Yeah. Did you share your personal information with anyone in your family or friends? Just my um boy. Just just my boyfriends. A couple of them, but that's it. And I don't think they're gamers. Maybe he must have done any purchase. No, no, I don't think quiet? so. No, no. No, I don't think he's that bright. All right. He's not smart enough. All right. All right. So can you just help me with your email address so that I can pull up your account and check? Oh, yeah. Just a second here. Yes. It's um, E D mm -hmm. I T H. Underscore E D I P H. Yeah. E D yeah, E this. So E D I T H. And then underscore P U T H I E. Uh I'm just repeating it. Uh mm -hmm. It's E D I P H underscore P U T H I E, right? Yes, and then that, and then you, and then it's um at gmail dot com. Uh, gmail dot com. All right, all right, man. I'm just putting a call and hold so that I can check. Okay. Just be online. Thank you. You're welcome. Ma'am, as I can see here, there is uh, two other charges associated with this, this account of yours, all right? So let me mention those charges as well. That is for 79 and what's for 120 And those are for Bitcoin purchase. Do you recognize them? No. No? No. All right. Uh, it really seems like so your identity got compromised and somebody else is using your PayPal. So what do you want to do right now? May I put a hold on these transactions? Well, yeah. I mean, they're not mine. Or do I, should I call my bank? What should I do? Actually, um, your identity got compromised and bank won't be helpful uh, in this way because it's the PayPal through which the payments have been processed and these transactions took place, all right? So oh, first we no. need to put a hold on this PayPal account of yours on these transactions. Then you can call your bank and get the refunds okay. checked in your bank, all right? Okay. We'll, we'll be doing the refund process. Okay. All right, so uh, for that, to do your verification, we need you to connect to our secure server. With your permission, may I connect you to our secure server? Well, what is it? 
I mean, I'm sure, but, but as your that's identity, fine, but... yes, actually, actually, listen to me, ma'am. Actually, your identity got compromised, and somebody else used your IP, so that's why that's not a secure line to talk to. All right, so uh -oh. we need to connect you to the secure server to do verification and put a hold on these transactions as well as on this PayPal account of yours. Well, okay, well, okay, just tell me what to do. All right, just let me know which phone are you using right now. Is it an iPhone or an Android device? Um, this is my landline. All right, this is your landline. Yeah. But on landline, we won't be able to verify, to do the verification process, ma'am. Do you have any cell phone number? No, Mike. No, I don't use cell phone anymore. My kids have one. I can have them do it. I'm sorry. I said my kids have a cell phone. I can have them try it. Your kids have the cell phone. Yeah, I don't use it. My fingers are too fat. All right. All right. Where do you usually do your banking? On your PC or on your phone? On my um, computer. All right, on computer. So, uh, is this the right time to talk to you? So that because it, the process will take around 15 to 20 minutes for the verification purpose. Oh my goodness. Um, well, I have to do a couple things. I mean, I'm. I mean, we've been on the phone for a while now. Um. No issues, no issues, ma'am. I'll arrange a call back for you tomorrow. All right. Well, just let what's... me know the convenient time for you. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, Meanwhile, I guess... I'm putting a hold on these transactions. Well, where are you? Perfect. Okay. You have a hold on. And where are you located? What time is it for you right now? We're in California right now. Oh, okay. So what time is it for you? Sorry, your voice is cracking, ma'am. I said, what time is it for you right now? 2.20 p.m. Okay. Well, I, okay. Well, why don't we just deal with it, I guess? I don't have to go anywhere until I'm 3. Sorry. Let's just go ahead and deal with it. I don't have to go anywhere. Now that I'm looking at the clock, I don't have to be anywhere until 3. So go ahead. Let's just figure this out. All right. So... Can you, uh, can you go to your PC or anything so that I can guide through the entire process? Okay. Because through a landline phone, I won't be able to connect to the secured server map. Okay. All right. Okay, now what? All right. Uh, is it uh, is it a window PC or an Mac? Oh, it's a Windows. Sorry, I had a hard time understanding. All right, Windows. It's Windows. All right, it's Windows. Mhm. Mm All right. So, can you just uh, download an app called Ultra Viewer? Um, how do I do that? I mean, on the on the computer, I don't. I I'm not sure how to do the apps. Do you mean it's a website or something? You can go to Microsoft Store, ma'am, or you can or you can go to your browser and search for in Google. You are using Google Chrome or you are using any other one? Um, I think it's Microsoft. Um, Ed, uh, the Edge thing. All right, on Microsoft Edge, you can yeah. search for Ultra Viewer. Okay. What was your name again? Um, this is Brian. Brian, that's right, okay. Sorry, I don't have it. My memory goes in and out. Don't worry, ma'am. It's okay. Okay. Can I just Google Ultra Viewer? Yes, just Google Ultra Viewer. Okay.
Can you see it? Yeah, oh yeah. Um, oh, just a minute, something's coming up here. Um, it says it's a remote. Hold on here. All right, do you see any install or download option there? Yes, okay, I see something here. What do you see, ma'am? Um, download or order details. All right, you need to click look, click on download. Okay. And just let me know when it's done. Okay. Oh, can you hold just one second? Um, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, I just need, yeah. Okay. This, all right, now I'm uh, muting him. Because I want to, I, first of all, I just wanted to make sure I got any working numbers out to everyone. So I just did that. I'm going to try to be organized about it. He's muted and on hold. And I am going to test this right now to get an idea of how bad the leg is. Okay. All right. Um, so yeah, something came up. Uh, it's asking if I want to run this, I guess, on my computer. Click on run. Okay. Yes. Click on run. Okay. All right. Now another box just came up. What does it say? Um, it says accept or cancel. Click on accept. Okay. You're so helpful, Ryan. Thank you so much, Mom. That's my work. You're good at it. Now. So now what does it show on your desktop, map? Oh, something just came up here. Ultra Viewer. Uh, allow remote control. Please tell your partner the following ID and password if you would like to allow remote control. All right, so could you just help me with your ID? Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, you there? Oh, I'm here. Yeah. What's up? All right, so what does it say? What your ID? Oh, my ID. Hold on. It will be an eight-digit code. Oh, here it is. Oh, and then there's a password, too. Okay. Yes, yes. You ready for it, Ryan? Okay. Um, one, three... One, three. Mm hmm Four, one, four. Mm hmm Two, six, six. All right. And one, two, three. 
Right, it's it. So what's the password now? Password is S C A M. I'm sorry, come again? That's what she said. It's S C A M. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm not getting you. Password. Okay. S is in Sam. C is in Charlie. A is in Apple. M is in Musa. <laughs> okay, now I'm curious what the leg is, so hold on. That was pretty fun. I think I had him for over a half hour. I'll find out. Are you there? Oh, I'm here. Yeah. Damn it. What's up? I'll time it. But... Right, so what does it say? What's your ID? Oh, my. About two minutes. It's not that bad. But anyways, okay, guys. It's it's enough of a leg to where I'm going to go ahead and, oh, my gosh, Clark. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, shoot. Uh, as far as this video, uh, I'm, I'm going to post that call. So, scam out.